Stop the ice cream truck, gang. We got a little bit of an announcement on the state trashy tour. Still a few ticks left for that second show over there in Red Bank, New Jersey. Scoop them up before they're gone, and you can get everything where, Kippy? At rugarbage.com, gang. We That's got right, a, Pinhead. We got a bunch of merch over there. We got a lot of cool T-shirts. They're moving off the shelves. We got Zippo-style lighters. Get them. Said style, not actual Zippos. It's all contractual. <laughs> At allyourgarbage.com, gang, check it out. Thanks for the support. We love yous. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. Mm-hmm. She's upstairs just watching a little TV. Okay. She's just relaxing. Taking today. it easy. No trouble, no nothing, just chilling, doing her thing. It's good. Smoking a little doobie as she does. Uh, yeah, of course. A couple of L's, a little people. <laughs> Sport. Wait, a couple of L. Couple smoke. Of L. <laughs> She's smoking blunts. Tony smokes blunts now? In the living room. Okay. Yeah, oh, man, a house that smokes blunts in. Yikes. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? International businessman. He was feeding me shots last night. Hey, no, no, no. I'm no, all hung over. No, yeah. I wanted to have a quiet night, uh-huh. quiet dinner. He showed up with a beer helmet on. What are you <laughs> talking about? This fucking guy, you're a booze bag. Don't blame it on me. Out with that Chris O'Connor last night. Uh-huh. Boozing. Sure. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Over 150,000 subs. Shout out to the fucking army of garbage, baby. Love yous. Coming correct. That's what I'm talking about. And obviously, the greatest gosh darn website of all time, www.patreon.com slash garbage. You sign up over there. You can get up to two bonus episodes a week. Mm-hmm. You get all fucking plethora of videos we drop mm-hmm. we drop tour videos the indie thing the cribs the this the that the tutti. disney everything's on there it's all in there check it out gang absolutely and having a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire the magic man makes us all look good works the ones works the twos the threes and the fours crosses the t's dots the i's give it up for t-bone mcscruffins toby mcmullen everybody hey what up boys what up t-bone hey pal <laughs> now the dude talk about Smoking blunts inside is something that used to make me feel so comfortable oh. and now makes me so uncomfortable, dude. I feel like I'm in danger when there's blunts in the crib. A little bit of weed smell is nice. Mm. I like it a little bit. Uh, Floating around. It just takes me back to all those memories I had of sitting on like a dirty couch in some fucking dirt bag sure. house. There's seeds and stems all There's over. There's a razor blade on the coffee table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that co- Dude, a fucking stoner's. A couple st- loose pistachio uh, shells. Yeah. A stoner's Yikes. coffee table is something else. <laughs> There's res all over something. That, like a pen. You try to you write, take a number down with a pen. There's res all over it and shit. Somehow it was worse when you, tough. when you went to your, your dealer's house and you had just cleaned up. It still like looked Feels dirty. like a sting. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ah, yeah, that ain't good, Jesus. man. Uh, yeah, it just takes me back. You're sitting on a couch that, like four other people have owned before that person. Had sure, it. it was you know this one is Gary's, leg's missing. This was Gary's grandma. <laughs> she got it from you know whoever. Yeah, it's I I hate it. So now when I go, if I'm in a house like that, it just takes me back to like a you know not a great time. Sure, I used to get so so paranoid because I didn't. I didn't, used to. <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't realize until much later in life that you can just take one little hit, you'll be all right. He used to take it right to the head. Mm-hmm. I remember sitting in the back of my buddy Charlie's station wagon. We cut school. We were smoking doobies, and we were just parked in a neighborhood. And I had a fucking mat. I was like, "Let's get the fuck out of here." Oh, the dude. cops were coming. I dude, the first time hated I hated it. First time I smoked weed. <laughs> Fucking, or it might have been like the second or third time. I don't think I got high the first time. Uh, <laughs> they say you don't. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, I don't honestly. I don't, we weren't fucking. We didn't have any fucking kind bud. I know that much. Just fucking mostly seeds. <laughs> Couple of schwigets. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, no, but the first time I was at a kid's house, and he's like, "Yeah, we got we got like a twenty five dollar eighth from this kid." He had it. That's we're, good money right we're, there. We're sleeping over. I'm sleeping over his house. He's like, yeah, I smoke weed all the time. I'm like, okay, cool. Then we get something. It's going to be like, you know, uh, 
we get there and we're down the basement, sleeping down the basement, and his dad came in and turned the lights off. He's like, "Lights out at ten, t- at ten p.m." I'm f- fucking. I'm like, dude, how the fuck are we supposed to sneak out and smoke weed? It's like a fucking. It's like Shawshank in here, dude. Tripping over a can of paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking rough hang. No TV. We're junior Where? high. No TV after ten. I was like, dude, call my mom. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. This sucks. Goddamn news is coming on. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> get Denise before her third glass of wine. Come think I'm missing me. Leno's monologue because yeah. of you? Uh-huh. Oh, let's fuck go. that. I stayed at a buddy's place in Ridgewood, New Jersey. Ooh. They had a bong on the coffee table in the living room, and the mom came in and was like, you kids want snacks? I was like, this is a setup. Yeah, fucking no, I, no, I know. You, you guys are fun. feds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Toby, you smoke drugs, right? Or what? <laughs> Yeah, that's... we had one strict dad. There was one dad that was really, really strict. Sure, it was like ex-military, like ex-air force. He used to sleep with his eyes open. It was that guy. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, those dudes creep me out. Oh, dude, um, nuts. Yeah, we never. My dad didn't care. I, I think my dad knew everything that was happening. You know what I mean? It'd be like I was getting the dr- no drinking and driving talk before I even had a car. You know what I mean? It was like I don't care if you just don't drive. I'm like, all right. What is this? He's, meanwhile, he's got a fucking, he's got a, he's got a fucking, soda. he's got a rolling rock between his legs. <laughs> uh, Parent cut off jean shorts and a rock. Sure, there was family members who used to let them borrow your car if there was in the shed, whatever. And then like you're fucking, you, you get the car back, you take a hard turn, you hear clanking under the seat. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Jim and me, I get pulled over. I'm 16. There's fucking open containers floating around the back seat. A gun underneath the seat. <laughs> the There's a body in the trunk. <laughs> I can't. Don't touch that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, those were those weren't great days. Just like fucking no. F- you know, you're just thinking about getting weed. That's all you ever thought. You sure. know what I mean? Like, who? how can we get a bag? Who's around? Yeah, well, Foley's got a foolproof plan for throwing the cops off his scent now. What's that? He just puts those glasses on. I think they're one of him. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. Those are real cop glasses. <laughs> or fucking, I called you Dr. Feelgood earlier. Those are, those. Are, you're, you're on either side of the law with those things. <laughs> these, are my, these are my fighter pilots. You're either so coming or about. going, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Fucking Maverick. <laughs> yeah. Kilos are 15. <laughs> yeah, bro. If you're the only pilot and you're doing is under the radar and those things. Yeah. <laughs> when I wear these, a baseball hat and Hawaiian shirt, I think I'm working for the company. <laughs> Knocking over some government in Nicaragua. No. <laughs> Knocking over a vending machine. <laughs> uh, I got a little something I wanted to. I, Last, what last, do you got, Kip? Last Go night we d- oh also too uh, they've been talking about it the Stuff Island boys as you brought them up we were out there last night with uh, Chris O'Connor having a two tree pops God damn <laughs> and uh, I forgot we haven't made public but they have I have a bet with him yeah about going down the shore where well, we're going down the shore going down the shore we got we got a shore house with the Stuff Island boys we're gonna go down hang out for a week whole yes, nine we yards are. and uh, I bet him. I bet O'Connor says he can do. He could do the Charleston. He can learn the Charleston. He can learn the dance. The Charleston has never danced before. I don't think he dances at weddings or anything. Mm-mm. That kid's fucking psycho, and I don't think he's got any rhythm in him. I don't know, but he's been. It's a thousand dollar bet. I thought it was five hundred. I we were really drunk. <laughs> we made this a couple of weeks ago. We Tell were, him it was five grand. <laughs> no, he doesn't owe me anything. He just has to buy my beers for the week. Okay. Uh, like when we're out, like he's got to gotcha. cover my drinks. But if the bet is, if he if he does it, you got to give him a jihad. I got to give him a jihad. Okay. It might even be fifteen hundred or two. I forget. We were fucking Jesus ossified. And so here's the deal: when he gets to the house, he's not allowed in until he does the dance. We'll have a boom box playing the song of his, the Charles. Yeah. Uh, and then. Everybody, I, I even took myself out. I was a nice guy. I go, I won't be the one who decides if it's good quali- or not. The, the, uh, you guys will. Sure. So you guys decide if what he did qualifies as the Charleston. I don't know what the hell the Charleston really I, is. I don't, I don't think you need to because he ain't going to do it. It doesn't matter. He's got, that kid's got two left feet. We should get a dance teacher. Why? So to, so I can lose money? Why, why am I going to get him a dance teacher? He's got to learn it. He said the other day, he told me, I just, he goes, I was practicing in the shower. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? He's like, going to show up in a cast, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is fucking easy money. Speaking of which, I've gotten to the age where that's that's on my mind now. Slipping in the bathroom. 
Oh. Or slipping in the tub. I would just put the strips down because I almost fucking. Ooh. My wife bought some honey soap or something. Oh, dude. dude, that's it turns into a goddamn slip and slide. I feel like the broads in there washing with vegetable oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking dude, man. Uh, for we just put the strips down. But um, so last night, what is the uh, what's the etiquette on eating in an Uber? We talk about on a plane. Obviously drunk. Obviously, I had about 18 drinks in me. Last night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, you were, I left you at the bar, which was a rare, what time did you leave there? Maybe like an hour after that. Whoa, that was late. Because I wanted to be out of there by midnight, and I looked at my, I hit a fucking black hole of time, because I looked at my phone, it was like 2.15. I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I was hurting. Yeah. I was hurting. But what's, can you eat in an Uber? And should you ask? Nah. Yeah, you should ask, but you shouldn't. What? What were you eating? In, you just had pizza there. I had a slice of pizza there and a couple in the car. No, oh, really? No, 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 no. I was going to do pizza, but then I was like, I can't get him with like a fucking penne vodka slice or whatever. Fucking stinking up this dude's fucking car. Eating ramen in the back of that day. <laughs> Soup's you got chopsticks up there, brother? <laughs> uh, it's a duck sauce situation. I couldn't bring myself to do it. Uh, so I did pop by the fucking that Seven Eleven right there. Sure, which is, I mean, a fu- that's crazy. That's like a demilitarized zone in there. That's nuts, dude. I opened, I opened up all of the refrigerator to try to get a fucking cold water to go to night night with. Open up the refrigerator. It's like ninety five degrees in the whole. Everything was hot. I was drinking a hot Gatorade on the (laughs) wall on the ride home, dude. It sucked. A warm Gatorade? I had that and some pretzels. I ate pretzels. That's You can eat pretzels. Yeah, pretzels is all right. Pretzels is okay, I think. But you should ask. I didn't. I just, I'm like, what are you going to not let me eat pretzels? I've popped a beer in the back of one of those. Whoa. That was. I've asked. When I first moved to New York, I Uber, and I was an Uber black, too. They like, yeah, I mean, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'll fucking jerk off in those things. (laughs) Hey, buddy, you don't want to turn around. <laughs> you don't want to miss this. <laughs> um, I uh, Back in the day, you would get those. Remember, before Uber, you would get, like, the town cars, yeah, like the love, hired cars. And them. they you would negotiate the price. You would go and be like, hey, we're, you know, I'm here. I got to go here. How much? And he'd go 40 bucks. You go 25. He goes, third, and you meet in the middle. Sure. They would, especially in the Heights, Dominican dude, they had you, Oh, you yeah. get in a, you get in the back seat with a twelve pack. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, you get nine people in the back seat. Cook meth back there. <laughs> Everybody's getting fucking. Get the lab up. going. Yeah, I don't think. Can you Google to see if what are the is there a rule of eating in an Uber? Yeah. It, is, it is not against Uber's terms of service Let's to eat in go. the car. Really? Oh, take oh, yeah. that. I t- Did you I, already research this or you just Google it now? I Googled it a few minutes ago. Huh. Yeah, he's good. He's pretty good. He's good at what he does. <laughs> he's a good kid. <laughs> I do all right. <laughs> Uh, I thought you were speaking from experience. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like I've gone to like, bat. Like you, you've taken this up to the Supreme Court. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. It's not in your terms and conditions. <laughs> and I've read them, by the way. <laughs> they, I, I don't think they like it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I could imagine they're not fans. Yeah, but ever, I don't know. You ever take the water in there if they offer you a water? Uh, that's a setup. <laughs> that's you're gonna fucking wake up with your underwear on backwards <laughs> with that shit. No fucking way, dude. I ain't doing that. That's a fucking <laughs> setup. Can I tell you my new Uber paranoia? What's that? When they have the cable for the phone, I never use it. You think I- it's going to jack your info? Yes. Yeah. I don't think I don't think that uh fuck. Sorry, dude. Yeah. I thought that uh, we're all nuts. I've thought that too. Uh, I do the same thing. Sky. Let's start filming you in there too. Yeah. Get your, it's all set up. They're going to have your nudes and stuff. <laughs> be playing in the billboards of Times Square. Holy spread eagle. You'll need it to see it. <laughs> it's got to be that big. You better blow that thing up. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, now we know. Now you don't have to. You should ask, though. I think that is proper etiquette. Pretzels, though, it's not a big deal. That's not bad. Dude, smoking in cabs back in the day was great. I caught in Philly. You could catch heaters in the cabs. Yeah, and they would have one. Yeah, can I smoke in here? I'll have one. Tell you, fucking, sure. Like, just like two buds cruising around town catching heaters. <laughs> hey, turn this up, will you? <laughs> this is my jam. If a cop comes by, hold it down. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Mm-hmm. Ripping heaters. I remember doing whippets in the back of a cab one time. Okay, going up the FDR. <laughs> Out of what? Uh, like, ready whip. You were doing the <laughs> not even real ones. Not even like the crackers. 
just on your way to a cookout. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the pie's all fucked up. On my way home at the end of the night. <clears throat> hurting. Hurting. Looking for anything. <sighs> Keep going, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I have a credit card. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. It's got Buffalo Bill in the back seat. <laughs> Man, I'm a, I'm you like are a great fucking, big fat person. You are something else, dude. Yeah. Did you ask him at least? <laughs> hey, buddy, is it cool if I do legal drugs in the did, back seat? Wait, wait. Did you pick up the whipped cream before, or did you just have it on you? No, it stopped at uh, a bodega. Pro- yeah. That was that was the nightcap. Yes. Yeah. You were like, hey, I'm gonna get a cab. Let me pop in. Get six cans of uh, Ready Whip. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, you got to be ready. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole pound cake at home. What do you want from me? Yeah, I'm no angel. But I got a pass. But you are the devil. <laughs> uh, God damn. How yeah. do you feel about when the Uber driver's eating? Oh, hate it. Hate it. Hate it. That Then you really <clears throat> feel like you're in their car. You know what I mean? I feel like this is just a guy I asked for a ride. Like I'm not the guy that we the, the guy that took us to the airport in Vermont. You guys were in a pickup truck. Yeah, he was eating chips. That's nuts. He's like a whole bag of That's chips. He was like seven in the morning. Yeah, dude. It was crazy early. This fuck guys eating funyuns. Asking us, "Oh, where are you from? What the fuck?" <laughs> that, that was crazy. Break out yeah. the Fritos, dude. Yeah, that's nuts. I remember. I, I think I told it. Uh, I uh, I got a cab. I got an Uber or a Lyft in Atlantic City, and it was a pickup truck. And I had it was a shared one. Like we were both going. It was we were sitting three across. No, you yes, we were in an F one fifty. And the guys like I was talking to another couple guy. of farm hands. <laughs> I know a guy coming home from. Uh, he was also from New York, going to visit family. Wait, hold on. This this was an Uber. Yeah, a pickup truck. Yeah, this is like two guys. Three dudes in the front seat. Me and a guy were sharing it because I, I I forget why we were sharing the Uber. I was go we were both going to Wildwood. Like I was getting out of North Wildwood, he was going to Wildwood Crest or something. I'm taking turns driving. <laughs> hey buddy, I've been I've been up all night. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking wacky. And I, it's I, that was, I think that was the last time I'm like I can't do this anymore. Yeah, taking that's... that we used to take that casino bus down there. Ooh. It was thirty bucks round trip, and when you got there, you got a ten dollar voucher to like. Caesars or something. Sure. And man. Get it going when you get in there. <laughs> Let it ride, baby. I remember, oh man, you're just down there with, you're, dude, that bus is like, it's people on the lamb. Any bus. Any bus. Is brutal. The mega bus from New York to Philly was brutal. Yeah, I never, I, did, I wasn't a big mega guy uh, there. I was mega everywhere else for the most part. Take the train like a gentleman. Yeah, I didn't have the the money or the time though. That's because if you don't have that Amtrak money, that could be like a fucking four and a half hour journey. The train switching and shit. The New Jersey Transit train from Penn uh, Station Penn Station to Trenton Which? is like an hour and a half. Then you got to switch over to SEPTA. That takes you into Thirtieth Street, which is like another hour. Plus, you're waiting forty minutes for it. Yeah. Then to get out to the Burbs, you got to get on like the R five or whatever and go out there. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, that ain't worth it. Uh-uh. Take the bus down. Yeah. I so, would get off at Trenton and have someone, I'd have my mother scoop me at Trenton. Me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Patty picking me up at Trenton. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Man, the good old days. Oh, yes. by the way, this is my nine year anniversary of living in New York, speaking of this. Congratulations. Nine years today. Look at you. Uh huh. I remember when you stumbled into the city. Yeah. Looking at me for advice, showing you the ropes. No, the first day we got lost. You got us on the wrong train. We went to a movie. <laughs> No, we didn't. We didn't? I was at a movie. I went to a movie by myself and met you. A real cool guy. <laughs> it was because uh, we, we met in Chelsea. I forget. Yeah. I don't know. I just remember you being like, yeah, well, let's go pop over this show. I know so-and-so's on the show. We're on like three. You're like, this ain't. We're on a train. And you're like, this ain't the right train we got on. I'm like, this guy stinks, dude. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're smoking all my heaters. When I lived. When <laughs> asking I Asking for 20 bucks. When How I, do we wind up in the Bronx? <laughs> I'm just going to go talk to a guy in the corner real quick. <laughs> I got to see what? a man about a tie. <laughs> Why are we at the Ready Whip Factory? <laughs> <laughs> I got a big one. <laughs> Not even a case. You have one giant one. Um, what was I going to say? When I lived up here the first time, I never learned the subway system. I never took the subway. 
I would take the bus occasionally, but I usually took cabs or didn't go anywhere. Real mover and shaker. <laughs> I mean, there was like, You're out there doing it, huh, big guy? There was like two years where I didn't leave the Upper East Side. Mm -hmm. I worked in the Upper East Side. My apartment was in the Upper East Side. I didn't really do anything. If I went anywhere, I was going somewhere with my brother, and I was taking a cab. So I had to learn the sit. I had to learn the subway when we when we down. moved up here. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. A couple of tears shed on that subway. Uh, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yikes! A lot of what am I doing? <laughs> the whole nine yards. It ain't great. Those first couple of months, six, first, everybody says the first year, but at like nine months, you're like, oh, this just never, it's just only going to get worse. Like everything it fucks sucks. you. Everything, man. Yeah. God damn. Jam you up. Jam you up. Now here we are. Look at us now. Thanks to Aunt Hoodie, baby. Yeah. We ain't jumping the turnstile no more. I never jumped. Never around. did that yeah, shit. I was always afraid. I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. I only said that because I, I assumed that you had a story of you getting clipping your feet and falling no, over. No, that's why I didn't do it. My school bag would get caught. I'd fucking I'd hang up upside down or something. That's why I wouldn't do it. I'm so injury prone. <laughs> You're hanging there like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I never fucking did it, dude. I assume that was your mo. What jump and turnstiles? Yeah, been known to yeah. spray paint and. Cops and jumping turnstiles. Hey, buddy, stay still for a second. <laughs> Fucking lawbreaker. Uh, your roller skates. Yeah, I never fucked with it. Yeah. Never, never, never. Okay, let's talk about Helix. Helix. Let's talk about the best night's sleep that we've ever had. Together. <laughs> Gang. <laughs> not a lot of sleeping <laughs> if you catch my drift. Being a big man, we're knocking boots. <laughs> Only best way to do it in a Helix mattress. <laughs> Gang, do yourself a favor. Get over to Helix.com. Get on there. Take the quiz. Two, three minutes. Find out exactly how y'all like to sleep. Let me tell you something. Sleep is very, very important. Important between the Helix and my CPAP. Ooh, I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> you look like shit. Uh, me and the wife took it. The, the good folks at Helix sent them to me. They sent them to a big man. Me what and the wife? What the hell? <laughs> you said you were single. <laughs> Uh, me and the wife took it. We got the we we got we got matched up with the Twilight series. Fantastic! I'm snoozing a little way. I'm rubbing my rub, rubbing my tootsies together. There you go. Just take the sleep quiz. Get matched under two minutes. Whether you need extra cushion for your spine, cooling features to keep you from overheating, they have you covered at Helix, baby. Big boys, they got you covered too. And right now. Here's the turkey. Helix is got? offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. That's helixsleep.com slash garbage. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long, ladies and gentlemen. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Go check it out. Do it. Kip, how about that bespoke post? Uh, I think you mean box of awesome. Yeah, bespoke post, box of awesome. Get cool stuff mm -hmm. sent to your house on a monthly basis. You got the fall, mm -hmm. you got the winter, you got the spring, you got the summer. They chop, they break it all up. Maybe get a cool pocket knife. Maybe get a cool tent. Maybe get some grooming stuff, some of that cool soap yeah. or some, something like some pine soap. Something to make a nice cocktail with, too. Step your fucking bar game up, bozos. All small brands, mm -hmm. helping small businesses, sure. passing savings. Right on to you. Yeah. Uh, they sent me some sweet knives. I got to be honest with you. I just got a green pocket knife. Look at you. And I feel so... I, I live in an apartment. I don't, really have a, I don't really have use for it. I'm not a woodsman anymore. I'm a city dweller. But man, I can open up an Amazon package and Woo! I feel I feel like Crocodile Dundee out of here. I'm like Zorro taking your top off. It's not a forehead. <laughs> I got each each box is valued at around seventy dollars, and ninety percent of everything that comes in your box of awesome, like the big man said, is from a small up and coming brand. Look at that! Get twenty percent off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code garbage at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code garbage for twenty percent off your first box. Boxofawesome.com. Code garbage. Do it, gang. Yeah. Um, but that's neither here nor there, gang, because we got a gosh darn family yeah. episode on our hands. Yes, we do. When you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. It's just the best way to do it. The homies get first crack at it, so sign up over there on that Patreon. It's a good, good god darn time. Having fun over there. It's yeah. nice. It's a fucking... Dude, that's sauce cooked. There's over 9,000 patrons. It's good. Shout out to you, baby. Army garbage is strong. I feel all fuzzy wuzzy. Something else. The love from them, baby. Something else. Uh, all right, let's see here. This one's from Josh. Are you garbage if in middle school your principal got beat up by a kid? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking tough, dude. You got to quit, Jay. You got to quit. You got to get demoted to teacher or something. Nah, we had Mr. Schneider. He'd knock you the fuck out. 
Really? He was huge. Stand by me type shit. Yeah. He was huge. <laughs> hang, hang, got your ass, your fat ass hanging off the top of the building. And this was the 90s, man. All our teachers were like tough in some way. There was none of that. Mm-hmm. I remember my ninth grade science teacher jacking somebody up for saying his name wrong. He was really oh, on the man. edge. Jesus Christ. He was our athletic Try trainer. Try a cup of decaf, will you? Doc Doyle, shout out to him. R.I.P. Fucking great dude. Yeah. He's taught me about the Gatorade. Diluted two to one. Okay. That's all I learned. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> fucking real scholar over here. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you learned about learned in high school was about food. But he was usually on the edge. And some kid came in and was like, you're Doc, uh, Doc Boyle, Doc Doyle. And all of a sudden, he just lost it and jacked him up. He's like, you fucking you, making fun of me? You plotting on me, boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's nuts. We didn't have, uh, I don't think any, uh, my, I did have a extended family member uh, who would, uh, I don't know, it was like a charter school, probably it was like, a, you know, some, not a public school, and he would go, if you, you know, he had taught like teenagers or whatever, mm-hmm. and he was like, hey, you know, he would get in like arguments, like, you know, and he was like, if you want to fucking have it out. I'll square, you know, not square off with you. I think they would go to the gym, and he would just, like, beat the shit out of these kids. He's like, yeah, get in a line. We'll fucking, you know, we'll fucking shoot the fade or whatever. And then we'll, we'll air out our differences, and we'll go back to class. <sighs> yeah, I was like, that's fucking... I don't think he's, I don't think he's teaching anymore. <laughs> My one teacher uh, would do that if students got into a fight. Again, this is this is the early nineties. Take his shirt off and jump in. <laughs> <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> Start <laughs> jump the kid. <laughs> Run his pockets afterwards. <laughs> nah, that's the only worst, three man. measly bucks I did this shit for. <laughs> that's the worst when they go through your pockets. Oh man. <laughs> I know, yeah. Um, no. Uh two kids got into a beef, made everybody pull all the desks back in, 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 into a square and put them in the middle and was like, go ahead. But they were too, too scared to fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At that point. Oh, no. Because you're getting in trouble. Oh, yeah. Dude. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, we never. I th- and I think another. I think, I think we had a wrestling coach who would, you know, who was the gym teacher. And if you got fucking, if you got into it with him, he was like, I'll fuck, you know, let's take it to the mats. I'll fucking, you know, I'll fucking give you the button hook or whatever. The, <laughs> whatever it's called. You with a folding chair. <laughs> <laughs> And it's Mr. Jenkins from the top rope. <laughs> Fucking hit him with a leg drop. He runs in and puts the face paint on. <laughs> it comes out. The lights go out. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Stephanie McMahon running around back there. Stephanie McMahon. There. <laughs> That's her name, right? Uh, maybe. I think so. Uh, I don't think it's Stephanie doesn't. It kind of does sound right, but it's also, I don't think it is. Stephanie or Stacy. Stephanie. Stephanie, look at you. Mm. You still watching? No, I just saw a clip of uh, her and uh, Triple H. Vince McMahon well, uh, a couple days ago. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, fucking home run of a question. Home run. Um, all right, this one's from Marty. Uh, $10 homie, never had one read. Is it garbage to ask your friend where are you staying instead of where are you living? Because <laughs> that's, that's real, real temporary vibes there. That means you're on your way out. That's not permanent. Where are you staying? A couch. Yeah, it's, I'm staying over at my mom's. I'm staying over at Tootie's. That's you, that's somebody getting their shit together. I've done that. Staying somewhere? Yeah, yeah, where are you staying? I was back at Patty's uh, when I flunked out of school before I left for theater school. I was I was staying there for a little yeah. while. That's what you tell I'm staying at my mom. Yeah. You know, I'm right? helping out. Oh, yeah, there you, you go. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid a rent, paid a mortgage, all that stuff. Sure. I'm away with Patty, I'm gonna have to break your legs and the story stays solid. <laughs> it's like misery. I could see you at the town bar trying to land some fucking bluebell four. <laughs> yeah, I'm staying with Ma, you know. Did you ever bring a girl back to your mom's house? Like after college and stuff like that? Yeah. No. Like to try to close a deal? No, we always went out in Philly. So like we would go and like we had apartments. You sure. Know, we were like, that's like where we would go out. No, yeah. never to I never had to like sneak someone in and be yeah, like, Yeah, no, me neither. <laughs> Fucking trying to run to set the alarm up before the alarm goes off. My dad was a light sleeper. He would have <laughs> busted me. What you doing, boy? <laughs> Cut out his BVDs. 
like, shout out to BBDs, by the way. They were something else. <laughs> right. That was the gentleman's underwear. Uh, yeah. That was like that was like fancy and classy. I know, because I remember I went we like went swimming. I was like a young kid. I don't know, fucking. You were a tidy whiteys man, right? Like you. St- I think everybody starts out as a tidy whitey yeah, guy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you can't be doing. You can't be a three year old in boxers, dude. That's fu- big hearts on. <laughs> That's fucking. You weird. get the socks with the straps. <laughs> I mean, I told you, I I was like eight or nine. I used to wear a pair of silk boxers. I yeah. told you that, but I was over at my buddy's house. We went swimming. I think like impromptu swimming. So like I didn't have clothes. We were probably I don't know, seven, six, something like that. And so she was like, oh, I'll just, you know, his mom was like, oh, I'll just use, you know, uh, like a pair of his underwear and shorts or whatever. And I remember she handed, she like, she's like, okay, here you go. Like, go up and shower. What a change. She handed me a pair of BVBs. And I, I never heard of them things. I was, I thought they were Euro cut or something. I was like, <laughs> they had what? a real thick strap. <laughs> they did. I was like, what? The, what are we, professional wrestlers? <laughs> Um, he got me out of here looking like Val Venus. <laughs> Steal this from Superman. Yes. Yeah. I remember being like, I ain't never heard of that brand. I was a, I mean, we were Haynes, Haynes family. Haynes Fruit of the Loom, sure. Yeah. Yeah, like, BVD was. BVDs. Yeah. Woo. Classic. Man, didn't fill those things out, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it was like a Van Heusen. <laughs> you know those shirts, the Van Heusens? <laughs> yeah, they're Macy's, right? Yeah, they were nice. A couple of Van Heusens looking <laughs> really sharp. Dude, the summer between... My senior year of high school and going to college, my girlfriend at the time came down and stayed with me and my folks, and we hooked up, and I went out. We went out to the pool or whatever, Mm -hmm. and my mom's dog, Little Maltese. You had a pool? In the apartment complex, yeah. Okay. That's a caveat. (laughs) Yeah, okay. (laughs) You had a pool? Guys, three doors down then. (laughs) They were on vacation. They were in Spain for the month. The, the her Maltese went through the trash and came out into the living room with the used condom in its mouth, throwing it around the Jesus. living room, dude. Like something about Mary or some shit, dude. Jeez. <laughs> like like a subway rapper, <laughs> the fucking big dog. Let the old man know. Hey, see that thing? <laughs> what a little perv of a dog! I know. Dude. All the stuff in there—that's what you go for. Like a little heathen, oh freak! <laughs> uh, you would knock boots in the house like that? Not after that. Jesus! I got this narc ass dog running around blowing my spot up. I only did that once, and fucking my dad heard, and he was fucking. Yeah, dad, you don't have a house. Can you don't even have a fucking house conducive to wailing on yourself, let alone fucking having a partner doing the dosi do up there. It was a Gestapo regime in there. I mean, all the doors are all like connected. It's like it's like a hotel. They're all adjoining rooms, kind of. One opens up to the outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That ain't no. an easy sneak in and sneak out. Were you allowed to? So okay, so you said between high school and college. Was and what your, state is this in? Florida. Or country? Oh, you're in Florida. St. Pete. St. Pete. Were you? Was your high school girlfriend allowed to sleep in your room? Like uh, sleep over? Yes. Jesus. Really? We were adults, basically, kind of. You're not an adult now. What are you talking? You weren't an adult back then. My- Legally. My mom. I, yeah, he, he was a big ass proud. Legally, you can't tell me what to do. Now I'll take my cereal in my room, please. We had cousins in their twenties, and if they weren't married, they weren't allowed to sleep in the same room with their uh, with their fiancés. A Catholic household, like I Love Lucy, that separate beds, <laughs> one foot on the floor. No, they put one downstairs and one upstairs. Yeah, my there was a there was a moment Never. where Can my a girl sleep in your room. Hey, shout out to atheism. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, I guess there is benefits. Your parents are atheists. Yeah. Okay. Thought you were Scottish. <laughs> you got a twenty three and me on this guy. I think my brother in law lived it. And what does that have to do with anything? A godless household, man. Yeah. No rules, baby. Yeah, all the all the all the stuff we have is all Catholic. Yeah. Fucking disgrace. Yeah, sure. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. Um, my brother in law needed a place to stay. That's how you knock a broad up. That's I think that's why Patty didn't want it, didn't want it happening. She didn't want me fucking dropping live rounds in somebody. <laughs> She's gotta raise the kid. Because I had Can no Can we prospects. stop talking about your rounds, please? <laughs> this is a fucking goddamn fan. Tootie's upstairs watching TV. Uh, no more round talk from you. All right, and if you're on the Patreon, you know why I bring that up because I've seen them. 
I've seen a couple of sped clips. <laughs> <laughs> Big man's in there dumping clips in his undies. It wasn't that. <laughs> it was ready whip. <laughs> Oh, man, I love it. Uh, all right, let's see here. <laughs> this one's from E. Breezy from Vac- Vacaville. Uh, $10 homie never had one read. Um, this is a shot at me in a picture I post. Are you garbage? But I didn't realize. Are you garbage if you get no sideburns when getting your hair cut, especially if you're a child with no sideburns? That picture I posted with the bowl cut, I didn't realize. I They took me the fucking high and tights. I had the flatliner going. Dude, that's a bad look. It was worse when a dad had it. Oh man, a grown man with it. It's you see the sunglasses go all the uh-huh. way back. Yeah, um, I saw a dude on the train with it. Dude, he went so high up in the back. You know what I mean? Like they they fucking took him all the way up, and he had no no fucking sideburns. I was like, buddy, go open a book or something, read a magazine. It's not a good look. It's no. not a good look. But I get if at the time, I don't think things were. We've talked about this. Things weren't cool back then because we didn't know anything. No, they were. It was cool back then. It, it, I don't think it was cool. There was I just a couple think it was baseball like, players that had it. I didn't have the baseball. I didn't have the cool, hot Dominican baseball guy. No, version. no, I'm talking. I'm talking about the white guys. They would have like regular, regular hairline like on the and side. Then just take it off, and they would just be gone. There's a couple guys on the Expos or the Reds that had it. I don't know. That's a tough look, though. Yeah, that's real. That's real jammed up. Another tough look is the bald guy with the sideburns that go too high. Sure. What do you mean? You know how, like, if if they have a beard and you clip it by the ears, then it does it. It fades into the shaved head. But sometimes you'll see it go up a little too high. Oh, like the way yeah. Action Bronson rocks it? A little bit, yeah. He pulls it off. Well, though. like past their ears. Yeah. So it's just like you just got like two fucking Johns here. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. It's like Mad Max shit. Yeah, you get, yeah. It's like reverse mutton chops, kind of. <laughs> it's inverted chops. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough look. Um, all right, let's see here. This one's from Frank. Another $10, homie. Uh, I already know how I feel about this, but is it garbage to put your shirt on before boxers? My dad did this growing up and definitely saw him dangling as a child. Your shirt before your boxers. Crazy. Yeah. Chrissy D does it. Real? Oh, that's Remember? right. Yeah, that's you right. Winnie the Pooh's it is. I said. feel like I need to be protected right away. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like having your, you know. Undies go on first. Yeah, so I can fucking get my wits about me. Yeah, yeah. Undies go on first. That's that's crazy. Yeah, that's that ain't that ain't great. Um, Dads did real weird shit back then. They had real weird routines and all that. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, there it was it was no man's land. They were, they weren't talking. They were just figuring it out themselves. Yeah, high white socks, bad deodorant, shitty underwear. Big time. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Tucker T was all tidy white. Did you get like the shaving converse? Did your dad show you how to shave? Uh, I think maybe once, but I couldn't shave the way he could. He had like a real like man stubble. My my, even now it's not really thick. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, I think it's because they like didn't moisturize or something. That skin was different. Oh, that was like a catcher's mitt. Shaved hair. every day. Could oh, you imagine? Because like it made it would like make noise. Like, oh. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I didn't have that. Like you were ripping a piece of loose leaf. Yeah, I think my dad shaved every day. Nuts. It's nuts. That's so crazy to me. I hated shaving. I hate the way it made made my face feel. I just stopped one time, like not too like right before I was getting married. I was just like, I'm fucking because I would get be so lazy that I would let it get too long. And I didn't have a beard trimmer. I just would I had to like it'd be too long, be ripping out some like, old <sighs> old Mach three. And it would. Oh, yeah, it would hurt. I, I would feel it here for days. Oh, just yeah. like fucking. It'd be weird <laughs> when it was growing back oh, in. No, I could feel it being already like ripped. It just fucking sucked. And yeah. I was like, I'm done. I'm just getting. I thought beard trimmers were Catch like your lip. Ooh. I thought beard trimmers were like a million dollars. They're awesome. And then I remember I bought one. Did you know anybody that rocked the electric razor? The ones with the circles. My stepdad had one, but I don't think I think he just bought it because it was like it was never used. I, I don't know how those things work. I used it one time. It was fucking brutal. I thought they were exclusively for guys at red lights. <laughs> In commercials or movies. Late yeah. for a meeting. 
That's funny. Kip, you know about this Mint Mobile? Uh, yeah, Mint you, Mobile. My you know, wife's been using it for years. So you know about fifteen dollars a month. Hey. Keep your number. Mm-hmm. Pass the savings right onto the consumer. Yes, All sir. done online. No brick and mortar. No pushy salespeople. No nothing like that. Oh, and by the way, you know who owned it? Ryan Reynolds. Ooh. You ever get a peek at that guy? Tight body on. Woo wee! Uh, yeah, Mint Mobile forgoes the traditional cost of retail by passing the savings straight to you, so you choose. There you go. Uh, all plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high speed data on a nation's largest 5G network. Is that. it trashier to say data or data? Uh, data. Is trashier? Yeah, it would be data. I'm a data man. Oh, I'm a I, data man. I don't know how what I do actually. Now I'm in my head about it. Switching couldn't be easier. Keep your same phone phone number and all your contacts. The only thing that changes is your bill, and it goes down a bunch of monies. Okay. Fifteen beans. What are we doing? I know. Fifteen bucks a month. Not, not even saving fifteen bucks. It's fifteen bucks a month. Crazy. It's uncanny. Uh, to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get that plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. I'm back to that gosh darn show, gang. Back to the show. Shave it in the car. Did, did either of your dads wear the sock suspenders? No, I don't understand. No, with, uh, the, with the straps. I was just saying yeah. no. That's for, like, business people. No, what right? do you mean? In the 20s? Nobody. Why, did yours? No. What was he, a traveling salesman? <laughs> Selling snake oil? But that's for suits, right? That's to keep That's to keep the suit. That, no, the, I, I think that was I don't for think you do it with whiteies. I think that was when they didn't have elastic in socks. Yeah, but I feel like people did it way even with dress like, you know, I mean, at least you see it in movies and shit. We're like, or maybe that's just like a, a, a trope. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Never a fan. Never a fan of suspenders either. I tried to pull them off, I think, in like eighth grade. Whoa. Yeah. Grunge? No. Just wanted to wear suspenders. I think it was because of. Like, uh, uh, it was because of somebody did it cool, right? I Robin assume. Williams wore suspenders on Mork and Mindy. Uh, and I want I wanted to pork and Mindy. <laughs> they were rainbow too. <laughs> Try to pull it off. Nah, man. No how long good. did it take to get the wedgie out from <laughs> oh, the bully? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you a wedgie. Oh, sure. Just fucking jacked you up. I remember. I also tried overalls for a little bit. They were. I think I had it. My sister would wear them in the Earl. I guess. Well, you're my sister's. Or I guess my sister's younger than you, but. There was, a, I remember her being in like junior high and like they were rocking overall, like the Calvin Klein or Tommy Hill figure. I think they had like the branded. Sure. Yeah, no, these were. Yours were like country overalls. Yeah, it was bad. It's like you're running the general <laughs> store. <laughs> it's no good. <laughs> that and when carpenter jeans hit. Man, you couldn't tell me shit. Oh, nice dude. set of carpenter jeans. I looked horrible <laughs> in those things. You look horrible in everything. What are we talking about? Um, they were huge. Nice set of carpenter jeans, though. You couldn't go back to regular jeans. You felt like a you know, nerd. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. At least when I back when I was banging. Yeah, I was too old for them to be, to be walking around with them. I just look like a carpenter. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I had them. Yeah, I had a work carpenter. They were great for uh, the one one. They started making the pockets a little bigger. It would have like the loop on the one side. Like the hammer. Yeah, loop. that was it. They had the and pockets. Then, then there weird. would be like two pockets for like a utility knife and a pencil or whatever. You sure. Keep there. But it was, I had a pair that was Put your per- weed in there. perfect for a pack of heaters. <laughs> fucking sneak it right down in there. But it'd be operating in school. No one knew none of the difference. Because they used to be able to like search your bags and shit. You had heaters on you in school? <laughs> sure did, dude. <laughs> Why not? I needed one. Yeah. For after school. That's crazy. What do you mean? I was an athlete. I was fucking smoking heaters like a bozo. Most kids that were smoking heaters were sm- had heaters on them. My crew ran deep with heaters. Really? Yeah. In high school. Pat, flip. Everybody, and then once you were driving, you had them in your car. Sure. Fucking light up as you're pulling out. <laughs> Come get me, copper. Fucking spark up. Yeah, of course. You got to have your heaters on you. No. <laughs> you jammed up. No heaters. When somebody would... Would somebody... In class, would sneak out and go rip a heater. That's crazy. In the stairwell, my buddy, my buddy used to do it all the time. He'd go and fucking pull one in the bathroom, and dude, he would. Uh huh. Dude, 
fucking suck it down and come rolling in casually. But at back then, everybody smelled like smoke too. No, the, I, you I, you you could everybody knew. Of course, but I'm just saying there was still smoking sections and shit. Mm-hmm. Like everybody was smoking. Yeah. I was trying to think of why I smoked. A teacher that smoked. Oh, we had a teacher that smoked. So did we, Mr. Moore. You could see the nicotine stain on his fucking, on his mustache. His mustache was like tie-dye, dude. It was fucking. Dude, those guys seemed like they didn't leave school. Like they were just there all the yeah. time. They wore the same thing. Mm-hmm. They always had chalk on them. Yeah. This guy was all, Mr. I think it was Mr. Ryan Miller. He was always chewing gum. He smelled like cigarettes and mint. And you get, get down Co- real close and help him with the oh, Yeah. Ugh. We had one guy wear the same page. He got, I remember, I might have said this. He got a pair of cargo sh- cargo pants, a pair of green khaki cargo pants. Fat piece of shit. Such a, every, I fucking hated this dude. Fucking real loud mouth he was. Always see him around fucking chirping and shit. It's like, buddy, fucking zip it or write some new material, will you? Uh, <laughs> Call the teacher a loud mouth. <laughs> Yeah, a real fucking attitude problem. Real show off. <laughs> <laughs> he was a fucking loudmouth, dude. And he, dude, I, we, he wore, he got them. He came back first day from Christmas break with this freshly fucking fresh set of fucking green cargo shorts, and then wore them every single day for the rest of the year, to the point where shorts, no cargo pants, okay. <laughs> <Yeah, short. laughs> it? Fucking flashy causing a scene. Uh, the teacher wearing shorts. Get the fuck out of here. We saw a, t- a teacher got his wife, uh, his fiance broke off with him or something. Like midday. First of all, dick move. Guys, guys trying to mold the minds of the future and you're fucking out there cheating on him or whatever. Playing with his heart. <laughs> yeah, fuck <laughs> it. Little Philly break your heart. Walked out on you, big guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> she was a dime store whore. You don't need her. Trying to comfort him. Uh, yeah. So he, dude, he just started bawling. Shut it. the fuck I up! I swear to God, I, I wasn't my. He was right next to me. We started crying in class. It's a teacher. Teacher. Be weird if it was a student. <laughs> He's getting married. <laughs> teacher. He starts bawling. Right. And then you're in the middle of class. I'm not in the class. I'm in the class right next door. Okay. Right. So like the all- doors. It was like a pod. No, there's doors, but like there was windows into like right by whatever, whatever. I we see them leave it. Like you can hear that. You can feel it's very close to us. So okay. You, we feel there's something of a, a, a foot. You sure. Know I mean? There's a there's a hoopla. Uh-huh. His kids are fucking. You know what I mean? Fucking probably running his pockets at this point. <laughs> Poor bastard. He's got nothing to live for. Taking his lunch. Um, they fucking so he runs out, and I think he you can't leave until you can't leave a class unattended, like state law or something. Sure. So he had to like call. There was like a phone in the back of the. Oh, there was a phone in the hallway. That's what it was. So he had to go out on. This is when we saw him because the phone was right next to our door. He's crying on the phone, going, "Can you send someone to room five hundred two? I'm having a bad day or whatever." And then dude, now everybody's like, ah. Hey, pussy. <laughs> Everybody's fucking leaning into the guy. And then until we graduated high school, that was, it was like, remember when Mr. So-and-so fucking Ouch. had his heart broken? We had a, uh... Open your books to chapter <laughs> four. <laughs> oh, on the board. Uh, Starts breaking out the acoustic. Or fuck. <laughs> there we go. Um, did you have any teachers that were married or in a relationship in your school? Together? Yeah. No. My junior year, um, there was uh, two teachers that were married. Dude uh, had an affair with another teacher in the school. Caliente. Yeah. French teacher. Homewrecker. Oh, I lied. (laughs) Miss Homewrecker. There was a hot teacher, I believe, or language, something from the romance uh, a romantic language, and she oh, that Slavic bullshit. She she hooked up with uh single, but like a you know a, a guy, and they got together. I remember it was the talk of the town. Sure, everybody had a thing for her. Woo. 
doggy. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Landis grabbed her. <laughs> yeah, so fucking, I was waiting until I was waiting until I turned 18 to make my run. But somebody, yeah, and then I remember everybody was like, man, yikes. the one that got away, you know what I mean? I was just close. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, this one's from William. Is it garbage if your grandpa took a shot of fireball during church services because he had a cough, and that's what he calls his cough medicine? Oh. Now, <laughs> grandparents drinking fireball trash makes, makes no sense because when they were banging, there was no fireball. Yeah, that's newly adopted. Yikes. But it does have a smoothing, uh, sure. cooling effect, sure. so I do get that. It is like a lozenge. There's a reason that cough medicine has alcohol in it. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's something. Does it have alcohol in it? Yeah, usually. I mean, now they have a little different stuff, but back in the day, it had alcohol in it. Hey. For sure. I got a year-round cough, you know what I mean, big guy? I know that because my, my uncle was an alcoholic and he couldn't have cough medicine. Really? Yeah. I think because, is there alcohol in it or just something in it that alters your state? T-Bone? I saw big eyes from T-Bone. CVS Health Nighttime Cough Syrup contains 10% alcohol. Damn! Let's get a sixer! That's a fucking White Claw. Yeah. No. <laughs> Wait. White Claw's like six. Yeah, if you drink... 10%? The, you'd have to drink the bottle. 10% alcohol by volume, which is different than... The bottle. Yeah, well, you're not a fucking pussy. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm some fucking weekend warrior. <laughs> I'm in it to win it, baby. <laughs> Five percent a white claw has. Yeah, it's double a white claw. Shout out to cough medicine. <laughs> no, kids, no, don't do that out there. That's bad. Of course. Um, but adults, <laughs> <laughs> Trickers. still don't do it. No, no, stop. Don't say it. It's a funny joke, but don't say it. Just drink beer, okay, everybody. Oh, Where's that's my better. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it's legal. Cough medicine's legal. Not like that. It's not. They wouldn't sell it to you if they knew what you were doing with it. Yeah, rub it, toss it in soda. <laughs> oh, yeah, toss it on the rocks. <laughs> Splash it, Grand Marnier. Oh, man. Uh, okay, let's see here. This one's from Tatted Steve. Is it garbage to carry two phones because one has a cracked screen and use it? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Is it garbage to use two phones because one has a cracked screen and using it as a hotspot for the other phone which doesn't have service hooked up? I don't even get that. That's still not even a full working phone anywhere. No. So but the, the hotspot. So the hotspot, he's got a cracked, he's got a broken phone that has service. Right. He then uses the hotspot on that uh -huh. to connect a phone, that, a dead phone that doesn't have service. Right. Why not just switch the phone somehow? Can't you like just go and be like, I want this phone? He's obviously a dirt ball. <laughs> He's like, just got, this is the epitome of jammed up, by the way. I've been jammed up like that for a while. Before I got an iPhone, which was maybe, I didn't get an iPhone until probably 2017. Okay. Um, I had some fucking real, real bad phones. You remember any of those phones that I had? I had like old fucking Androids and fucking God. shit like that. Were you a BlackBerry guy? Yeah. I, I mean, had Blackberries the, were cooking. I had the worst BlackBerry ever. It was all fucked up. The top was gone. The top of the top plastic part was gone. I think I remember that. Yeah. When did you get an iPhone? Like 2017. That was my first iPhone. Whoa. Yeah. That long ago? I mean, that recent? Yeah. All right, when did you guys get one? 2014, 2015? They dropped when? 2006, something like that? Something like that. I, was in I, remember, I remember the kid that had one at a party. 2007. Yeah. That sounds of six or seven. Yeah, I remember seeing one right. at the restaurant that I worked at. I was like, look, it was like the future. I S talked so much. Sitting there with your overalls on. What's that, sir? I talked so much shit about it. There was a drug dealer who lived above me. I was like, why do I need that? And he goes, I'm trying to watch YouTube while I'm taking a shit. And I was like, I'm sold. I get yeah. it. Huh. 2017, got my first iPhone, which it was, I think, immediately stolen. Sure. Like six months later. I had the I was a BlackBerry guy because BBM was big. You remember BBM? You were probably too much of a dirtbag. That was like iMessage but for BlackBerry. You had like a code. 
Yeah. And you'd be like, hey. I just got my brother's old one from work. He was a big BlackBerry guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, work, like, the business, they had it. to be BlackBerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ping in, all that kind I of thing. I remember them talking about it on Entourage. Really? Blackberries. Yeah. I got one. Uh, and then I moved to the Sidekick Slide. It would go the middle. Of, remember the sidekick? Lil Wayne, call me when you want. Call me on my sidekick. That was Fallout Boy shit. I didn't fuck with any of that stuff. Fallout Boy. I just lumped that in there with the <laughs> with the early 2000s. He's not wrong. Big with the MySpace kids. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I thought a it was sidekick. A, I thought it was like a uh, it was a hip hop thing. No. There, they were rapping about. So call me when you want, bitch. Call me on my sidekick. No, there was even an emo band who had a song that was called. Can I check my MySpace when we get there? It was about like getting a sidekick. Really? Did you wear one of those hats that all the girls wore too? <laughs> what the Von Dutch hats? Wait, what do you mean? The one that um, Judd Apatow's wife wears in. Uh, <laughs> we were just watching the that the bucket hat. <laughs> yeah. But dude, that was my phone. That the middle part <laughs> slid up, exposed a whole keyboard. Ticka ticka ticka. Had the tracking ball on and everything. I thought. Could you watch videos on it? Ah, uh, yeah, but like through the browser. This wasn't there wasn't like YouTube apps on it at this point. This was like through the browser. I thought I was Jay Z with this thing, dude. I thought I was the coolest fucking kid in the world. You know, slide check. that thing open, goldfish fall out. <laughs> I mean, some fucking barbecue sauce all over it. I remember when the razors hit. <sighs> yeah. Speaking <laughs> of that, my brother got one for Christmas, and he's like, oh, shit. This year? No. <laughs> no, fucking 15 years ago or whatever. And he's like, oh, his I think his girlfriend or whoever it was or somebody got him, a, and he's a, got him, like, the, you know, Motorola Razor when they were, like, the shit, uh -huh. the colored ones, uh -huh. whatever. And he's like, oh, cool, the new Razor or Patty something like one. that. And, purple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Couldn't <laughs> tell her nothing. Yeah. Every tramp had a colored one. <laughs> Patty, I love you, but I had to make the joke. He opens the door. <laughs> I love you, Patty. <laughs> this <classy idol. laughs> it's like riding around your PT cruiser. <laughs> your fucking tattoos. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Your mom or me? I don't know, but she's got to go home and clean herself up. I'll tell you that. I, pi I picture her with the fucking with the purple razor and those leather pants. <laughs> <sighs> the leather pants. <laughs> make me sick. I've told you that, right? <laughs> uh, man, that's so. Have you ever have you ever talked to her about it? Now? She doesn't remember. Yeah, I talked to her about it not that long ago. She's like, that never happened. Real selective memory is <laughs> brought. Yeah, so do you, by the way. I don't know what you're talking about. You forgetting you had lunch already. <laughs> Speaking of which, look at something to eat. Speaking of which, look at Oh, God. Feel a little bit peckish. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> that's fucking funny. The razor. Looking oh. back to early 2000s, man. Some of those styles were pretty whack. Mm hmm. Pretty whack. Yeah, I remember I spent all of my, I, whatever credit limit Macy's gave me to get my credit card, I got like a, dude, I remember trying to buy, I trying to be cool in college. That's when like cool clothes started, dro like very not cool clothes, but we're like the affliction t shirts, like those graphic tees, mm -hmm. a blazer. I was wearing that shit. What? Five years after it was cool. <laughs> you remember my graphic tees down in Philly? Yeah. Dude. I mean, you're still off the mark a lot, but yeah, I don't know what I thought about you when I first met. I didn't love you. I know that much. It wasn't a, you were, you had to grow on me a little bit. <laughs> I stink all around. <laughs> Running around in that fucking suit jacket like you were fucking Bob Barker or something. What the fuck were you thinking? Oh, God. I like the nice suit jacket. I like the nice blazer. I got all my Uncle Mike's old clothes, and I would just I just wore them. He would roll through stuff. Everything starts to the eyebrows. Yeah. Fucking cut your neck. Hey, what's up, guys? Dude, I got all of his old suits. I got all of his old golf shirts, all that shit. That's what I wore. I remember you were a very uh, eclectic guy. A lot of weird haircuts floating around. 
You even did that on this show. I got like someone will like tag you and something. You're like shaved head. You got a ponytail. There's a lot going on. Yeah. I could see you being a real bald guy with a ponytail late in life. Sure. Comic book. You can the, make that work. The comic book store guy. I'd never do a ponytail. And I ain't going bald. <laughs> Damn now, right now. <laughs> me, on the other hand. Toby, hit me. You should grow it all out. Uh-uh. That'd be cool. What? Grow it out? Yeah. Mm, um. What? Well, no. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Like I always said, I'm gonna do the what Segura did. Just as it gets, just keep it shorter and shorter. As it gets, it's doing. Pr- I'm gay. I get. I get nice compliments. I mean, a lot. I, right. I get a lot of mean compliments. <laughs> a lot of mean comments as well. It's holding its ground. Yeah, it's holding its ground. Some people say it looks more fortified than ever. You're off the road game or on the road game. I'm on the road game. I'm off the propiche. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> that shit's dug in like World War One. Yeah, trench warfare, baby. Road game. I I used to consider road game my boots. mustard gas <laughs> floating around up there. Road game was my bunch, <laughs> bunch of dead horses. <laughs> flies. There's just flies around it. I was always fucked up with those World War One photos. It was like four dead horses laying there. Mm-hmm. Oh man, Jesus that had to Christ. smell. Oh my God! What war? <laughs> no man's land. War with horses. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes! Poor bastards. Um, fuck. What was I saying? Landers Fields. Um. All right. Let's see here. Uh, this one's from Benjamin. Oh, shout out, Benny boy. Uh. Subcontractor of Kippy's Heaters and Cooling here. Shout out to you. Very nice. Uh, welcome to the company. Uh, are you garbage? If no you... Bennies with that job. Nah. Subcontract. Subcon. You're 1099. And Independent. Don't, don't forget about that. You yeah. ain't on. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not carrying fucking. We're not taking out taxes for you. Nah. That's Do all. Do it on your own. You need the write off. Sure. Keep your receipts. <laughs> um. Are you garbage if you're the same age as your brother without being twins? Brother was born late January, and I was born in December of the same year. So for that month, we're both the same age. I didn't even think that was a possibility. How long do you have to wait until? I mean, they waited a month. No, two months, maybe. She was pregnant within two months, it has to be. Right? Because what's nine months from? Wait, hold on. September. No, why September? September is nine months from January. My late January. No, it's yeah, no, on the other end. So what's wait? The brother was born in late January. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. So he we're was going born the other in way. early December. So so February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. They're eleven months apart. I think that's not crazy. I've never heard of anybody. No, that is crazy. The same age as your brother. Call them Irish twins. No, that's 18 months. Yeah, I'm Irish that, twins. 18 months is Irish twins. Me and my brother are 18 months Which apart. means they be fucking. That's the same age as same mom? That's nuts. Probably a piece. So wait, what are they? Hey, one side, Junior, let me in there. <laughs> the old man couldn't keep his hands off her. She for sure has a purple razor. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. That's... That hurts my head. That shouldn't be legal. Oh, it's going to be sore down there. To, how long is it after after you give birth? Three weeks. Three weeks? Three weeks you can get pregnant? Yeah. Jesus. There, you buried that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Three weeks, you're back on the also, horse? Also, what kind of freak is he? It's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway, probably. That thing, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's uh-uh. eighteen. I mean, my brother and sister eighteen months. That's Irish. Google it. See if they give you a time for Irish twins. I think it's eighteen to twenty months. And that—that's what I'm saying. And that's fast. So much so that it has a name. Sure. You know what I mean? Uh, two children spaced twelve or fewer months apart. Fewer. F- twelve or fewer. Oh. So you guys aren't Irish twins. No. No, you're Irish cousins. Kissing cousins. <laughs> So they're Irish twins. Yeah. Whoa. I always thought Irish twins was 18 months. Hey, me too. Well, you learn something new every day. The Irish. Um, all right. Let's see. This is from the prince on the fat horse. Isn't it? He's a European homie. Shout out to you. Nice. He's a 13 euro homie. Ooh. 
and it. That would be the pound. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Maybe Scottish. In, why, Scotland? No, Scotland's got to use the pound, too. Scotland uses the pound. Well, I got egg on my face. Yeah. Damn. I uh, like that they're back on the pound. Not for any political reason, just pounds are cool. Euros are cool, too. They look fake, though. Yeah. Don't look like real money. I don't feel like real money, either. Yeah. I can't remember who's on that, too. On the euro? Yeah. I mean, probably a lot of people. There's a lot of different bills. I don't think it's the same person. I know it ain't the queen, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> hey, lady, get rocks, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's probably just, like, all, you know, different political figures from the past or whatever. What do you got? Who's on a 20? I'm checking right now. I'm not getting great answers. Huh. It's got to be, yeah, like old, you know, somebody, somebody that it's. I feel like one of them. you got to think it's a new currency. When I was in France, I feel like Winston Churchill was on one of them. That would make sense, though, right? I don't think so. Huh. Maybe Steve Martin. That John Candy. <laughs> A couple of John Candies. Uh, it's a building. A it's building. Even, it's not even a guy. What? Get out of here with that. That makes sense, though. What building? Just a CVS. <laughs> I'm, I'm checking. It's not giving me great answers. Jesus. No. Been Johnny uh, on the spot the whole episode. I been this is stumping you? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's him. Uh, it's this goddamn European internet, man. Jamming, yeah. <laughs> he, he's, he's translating it on the fly. They don't want to. They don't want to cough the info up. Um, are you garbage if you reenacted jackass stunts and or Home Alone traps? That's always. I mean, jackass. Yeah, that hit when we were. Uh, when I was. I mean, same with T Bone, young teenager. That was. You know. For you get your hands on a shopping cart. You're, sure. You're pushing a buddy in that. Yeah. What do you got, T Bone? It's a fake building. A fake building. Yeah. It's uh, the 20 year old banknotes depict bridges and arches slash doorways in a gothic architecture. Huh. What the fuck? That's kooky. I ain't going back there. Tell you that much. If I do, I'm spending greenbacks. USA bucks, daddy. A couple of T-bills. Treasury bonds. Um, S&P. You'll things. take it. <laughs> yeah, you better if you want my business. <laughs> Uh, but Home Alone traps, that's what you wanted as a kid. You wanted to fucking booby trap the house and fuck some dudes up. Sure. What age were you in that drop, though? You were, you were aged out of that. When did Home Alone come out? Probably 89? No. 92? 92, I was uh sophomore in high school. <laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if you were fucking, had a BB gun on your back fucking... 1990. 1990. So I was in 8th uh, grade. I was right around yeah, there. Yeah, it's all right. I'll give you, you were that. four. Yeah, you were. Wa- you watching that when you were four? I mean, I, I don't. I don't Probably know. If, I don't know if I was at the premiere, but <laughs> I fucking. I did. It was an in- integral part of my childhood. Probably gave you blonde haired kid named Kevin. What are we doing here? Sure. That was me, baby. Sure. Yeah. I don't. I. I mean. Okay. So it came out when ninety. Yeah. So I would have been uh, fourteen. The old guy still scared me. Oh, he scares me now. Oh, like, I, 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 I understand him a little bit more as I get older. Great actor. Yeah. Great performance, man. He's so good in the end. Those boots. Yikes. I'll see you later. <laughs> well, we got to wrap it up, gang. <laughs> he fat little bastard eating pizza. Oh, dude. Fucking no way, dude. I That pizza looked all right. I'll tell you that. Shout out to little Nero's. Who was it, Little Nero's? Of course, yeah, yeah. Little Nero's. That, and I would always try to find, like, the uh, something in the movie where you could scare somebody. The talk boy got, became huge. He had the recording. That fucking thing didn't work like that. As a student, as a fucking six-year-old, I might as well have been working for the fucking CIA. Are you nuts? Jason Tim Curry around Yeah, I was fucking bugging the house. <laughs> just fucking, you know, I was doing everything. Trying to find out what I was getting for Christmas. <laughs> Tap on the phone line. Hey, you Jerry Lewis, you leave a running tape recorder in the room. Metallic <laughs> clink. All right, we got to go. Gang, I'm going to tell you this right now. We love you to death. Oh, yeah. Come see us on the road. We're about to drop a couple of the second leg of the tour. Sure, should be dropping soon. Check out areyougarbage.com. Pick yourself up a tea, a lighter, whatever you want. We love you very much, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.